Hello, hello. This is Kaladun, and welcome to episode 33 of Let's Play Depths of Arcala. We are here at the Sacred Monument, and... Oh yeah. Three more to go. We are on the final stretch here. Let's go ahead and drop this off at the base. And you know what? You know what? I think I'm not coming back here until we're done. Let's see. Toss the wall in there. I think we need to update the carpet also. I know how I'm doing this. Fortunately, it does require tearing up everything, but that's okay. It'll be worth it. And it was really, like, the, um... Yeah, yeah, this is right. Okay. And it's really the only design I could think of that, you know, still incorporated everything. Okay, let's see if I can get the order of everything right. And then yellow. Pink, green. Pink. I think it's gray, then light gray. Cyan. Purple. And then blue, brown. All right. When we're done, we're just going to replace these three corners with red, blue, or red, black, and green, respectively. Oh, I'm excited. A little terrified also, though, because today we are going to go to inter... We're going to be at intersection five. Although there's one more thing I want to do here before we go. You're free! Go and live life. Hi, minions. Go! Eh, whatever. They'll figure it out eventually. Alright. How did... Okay, whatever. Anyway. Um... Yeah, you know, I've got a little minecart track. I've got a minecart track from... Here to intersection 4, and from intersection 4 to intersection 5, just so I don't have to wade through Portal Island every time. But, uh, yeah. I think we're gonna... I don't think we're gonna transfer... Really? Okay, whatever. We're not gonna transfer the whole base over there yet. Um, turn that down. We're, gonna, we're gonna transfer over the... The essentials, I think. So, the... the the loads of iron, probably a bunch of, like, protection and sharpness books as backup in case I die. Um, chanting bottles, food, blocks, essentially everything that we'll need, you know, in case I make a mistake and die on one run, and... Yeah, basically if I die on, if I die on a run, I can spawn right back there and, you know, keep going. But yeah, here's the rail system. It connects up through the lake. I considered making one through Portal Island, but I was like, I'm just gonna get shot at the whole time. Not worth it. I, I have the golden lapis in my inventory because I considered... I, I strongly considered setting up a... Uh, or pimping out the sacred monument even more, but... You know, I looked at it and I was like... We gotta go with what we have. It's subtle. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's elegant the way it is. Adding anything more would just be kind of tacky. All right... So, arrows, where's my good backup bow, backup bow, backup, backup bow, gotta have a backup for your backup, um, I've got an, should have an iron, a sharpness four iron sword somewhere in here, shouldn't I? There we go, iron sword, um, armor, let's see. It's actually not a half bad one to ha to bring just in case. I'll transfer the diamond stuff over. Everything else in here can stay. We'll bring a stack of iron blocks, all of our diamonds, our golden apples, XP bottles. No call. I should put call here. Let's see. Two stacks of torches. Ah, oh, crap! I forgot I'm out of wood at the moment. I used it, I used pretty much all of it building the, uh, finishing off the minecart track, because, actually, that is one, th one thing that I will strongly recommend is that chest with all the minecart stuff. Add, like, another two or three stacks of, uh, bricks in there, just because I ran out halfway and had to trudge back here and pick up more, you know, more supplies and everything, which was a little tedious. 
Speaking of tedious, hello lag. Alright, um... There, there's an enchanting and table over there along with the brewing station. Um... Right. What else do I need to bring? Wood, I'll... I'll probably just gather some wood off camera. I... Actually, was there wood over there? I remember there was a chest full of blocks, but I don't remember what blocks specifically were in it. We'll see. I'll probably make the first run with... with I'll make the first run collectively, and then I think the uh, subsequent one or two will probably be off camera. I just want to show off my new rail system, really. That's what this all comes down to. Oh, I need some water. So... Water. Yeah, that's pretty much the laziest way I can think of to get it. But it works, right? All right. In the cart, and here we go. Whee! Super zigzaggy. But yeah, and if you look right now, I'd use nether rack and the uh, the wooden half slabs that were in the, the chest over there, I guess, actually. And we're almost to the brick. Almost there. A little more. Onto brick. Yay! But yeah, the bricks only made it about 60% uh, of the way there. Maybe 70, 60 to 70, somewhere in that range. I probably could just grab water from here thinking about it, but too late. This is a nice little minecart track, actually, I like it. It's, it's got a cool view, just swooping through all the vines, all excitedly. Ta-da! Here we are. Let's head down the endless ladder. And actually, I'm pretty sure there's an infinite water source down here, too, so... Woo! So much redundancy. Alright, and here we are, back at the awesome base. Ooh, with some lag. Is my draw distance up too high? Yes, yes it is. Okay. Let's drop that down to 8. I have no idea why it was on 14. Actually, oh, we f I should have picked that up and brought it. Oh, well. Also, should have remembered to bring food. All right, that's like I said. I'll probably I'll I'll be making multiple trips. Oh, good. I also wasn't sure if there was a bed or not. I thought there was. Good, and there is wood. Excellent. All right, let's dump. Yep. Any backup stuff here, and I need to make another trip back to base. So I'll see you in a minute. All right. And we are back at base, made a few changes, got the potion stuff over here. Chests are all nice and organized. We got blocks, potions, more potions, enchanting books, torches, and food. Look at all these torches. I am so... I'm never going to have to make another torch again, I hope. And, of course, shiny survival stuff. Um, did a few things. Right, upped all of my armor to protection 4, put feather falling on my shoes. Up the pick of destiny to efficiency four, and yeah. Anyway, Molden needed to make some few updates, so I sent it over to him. Good luck on I five. Hope moving it over in MC edit didn't break anything. Moldy. Well, thanks for the good luck. Anyway, let's go check out what we've got now. Big lake down there at the intersection. And you know what? Before we start scouting all these out, actually, let me check, uh, woo, there we go. I'm glad I caught that this time, because like I said, it screws up every time I switch to a different Minecraft, I'm dropping that also, but every time I switch to a different version of Minecraft, which I do often because the map I'm making is one is in 1.8, it screws that up, so we are no longer on peaceful, we are on normal, life is good. But, there's a giant lake down there, which, I don't know. If I was going to put a treasure chest at an intersection, I'd hide at the bottom of a giant lake. So, whee! Okay. Oh, wow, that's way deeper than it looks from up there. From up top, it looks pretty shallow, but no, that's a good... Like, 50... Not 50. 
maybe 30, 20 to 30 blocks deep, I'd say. Oh, oh yeah. Haha. -ha. And, oh God, can't do it there. There we go. Good old torch trick. We got Berserker's Brew and a stack of health potions. I like it. And let's get the heck out of here. And then, of course, I'm going to have to spend, you know, a whole stack of blocks probably getting back up to the bridge. But that's okay. Because that, that stack of health potions should, should come quite a bit in handy, I'm sure. Oh, actually... Let's see. Nope, I can't vine all the way up, unfortunately. Maybe? Maybe I can? No, nope, can't vine all the way up. Alright. Let's just go up this way. Oh, I passed the bridge already, didn't I? Yep. Whee. Anyway, and that was, yep, where we came. Good. So, um, let me dump off the two of, let's dump off three Berserker's Blues. I think we'll keep one, just because they're, they're pretty useful, you know? I'll leave the Splash Potions for now. Um, I think right to left has been kind of the way I've been doing most of these, so I'm probably going to start with Tree of Life, but let's do the scouting operation first. So let's go look at the source. Again, I have not seen any of these, so I'm... Ooh. Okay, we got floating blocks. Those, I'm pretty sure, are in... Yeah, I think that's Invisible Skeletons Riding Bats. Yep, that's Invisible Skeletons Riding Bats. We've got some... I think that's grass up there. And... I can't tell if that's render distance or actual sky, but either way, it seems interesting. All right, cool. I like the I like the pattern. It's you know, I mean, you can do that that random block thing. I've it doesn't always come out good, but I think it works there, especially because for intersection five, you know, that's kind of ominous. We've got death's domain, which. Um, I know Moldy and Infinity kind of hinted that there was a boss, and then were a bit annoyed that I actually knew something about Babylonian mythology, <laughs> which is kind of a niche. Un what? Are you doing? Are you being stupid, game? Oh my god! Come on! I just started Minecraft. Don't don't do weird lag things for me. Okay, that's not cheaty sand. I'm gonna go in a little bit. I like this pattern. Okay, it's cool. Yeah, okay, I'm getting a little bit of block lag. That's obnoxious. So I genuinely don't know why. I, like, just started Minecraft, like, ten minutes ago, I think. Made a quick run from one base to another. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's enough light for now. Oh, man. Okay, I guess I'm... Yeah. Normally, I probably wouldn't mind block... Just a little bit of block lag like this too much, but we're going in the final areas. So, man, that's annoying. So I think I'll do a quick little Minecraft restart, and then we'll go check out Tree of Life. All right. Um, stuff feels a, better and I, a bit better now, and I think I figured out the problem. Um, recording on a laptop, so I checked the, uh, you know, I checked my power settings, and it was on a energy saver, actually, instead of, you know, nice high performance. But anyway, let's go check out Tree of Life, and hopefully we'll be free from the tyranny of block lag. Okay. Passageway. Diamond. Okay. If he's given us a diamond axe that... Oh, yep. Okay, let's crank that render distance up a bit, because this looks... This looks cool. I'm assuming the diamond axe is going to be for getting around on and hacking through wood. All right. Although speaking of hacking through stuff, let's go ahead and start making a staircase down.
Cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw a screenshot of this, actually, of this area in the thread once. Uh, no mobs yet. Oh, that, there's a creeper. But with the area here, he's... Maybe not naturally spawned. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Just kind of scouting around the periphery a bit. Is that a farm? That's a farm and some buildings. With a nice little redstone torch. Good little bit of accent lighting there. Village words. Okay. Not bad. I doubt I'm going to use them, but I shan't complain for three. Yep. Nice. Village warrior, village farmer. Cool. You're surprisingly tanky. Wow. Oh my god. That was like six hits with this really, with this, you know, really, really freaking good sword. I think I just. Maybe. I thought I saw one of. We. Oh man, okay. Hmm. Yeah, those guys are some really powerful mobs. Like. Oh, that's a pleasant. <laughs> I'll take the iron though, just because I. I. I can't say. I, I think it's like physically impossible for me to pat. Oh, these guys have thorns on. Man. Wow. Thorns and knockback. Okay, I think it was only the farmers that had the knock. That Yeah, only the farmers have the thorns. Looks like the warriors don't. All right, cool. There we go. There's one spawner. Um, I th huh. Are there more? Is there another one in here, maybe? Nope, but there's a, ch there's a chest. Which is total crap. Got all it. Awesome. Okay. Cool. So we got some super buff villagers here. Um, but I'm... Oh man, that thing's tall. That thing's really tall. I'm suddenly very glad that I put Featherfall 4 on these boots. Because I get the feeling I'm going to need it. Especially with a... Especially with the, the sarcastic name tree of, air quotes, life. You know, that's just... That's a sign right there. There you are. I knew I saw those flames earlier. Okay. Yeah, sorry if the, uh, no, they realized the commentary up to in the last few minutes probably hasn't been that great. First time recording, with the exception of that, like, two minute little apology thing. <laughs> this is the first time I've recorded in a good two weeks, so. Yeah. Gotta get back, gotta get back in that groove, you know? Man, that thing's huge. Do I, do I go up or do I keep exploring the perimeter? Let's clear out the perimeter first. Just because that seems good. Excuse me. Oh, we got some light up in that waterfall. And you do like... Moldy does like hiding stuff in waterfalls. So let's check up there. Yeah. And although despite the fact that I haven't been recording lately, I think my uh, my CTM skills should still be up to par. <laughs> um, one of my friends, despite the fact that I said I did kind of wanted to avoid playing Ragecraft, one of my friends, you know, talked to, contacted me online and said, Hey, 
I've been, you know, we just finished up the uh, the CTM. We were playing. We're like, what's a good? What's another good one? And I was like, well, all right. Everyone in the world seems to recommend Ragecraft, so try. Been trying it out. I think we're we just finished up intersect. Yep. Oh. Okay. What the? Lost Sword of the Dreamman. <laughs> Smite five, knock back three. I'm going to use that for now, I think. Well, no wonder they lost it. I absolutely agree with that, since that's a stupid place to put a sword. Although it also said tree men, which implies that there's probably going to be some more custom models. Wait, that really doesn't one-shot? Oh, it's, it's, yep, nope, it's half a damage short of being able to one-shot a regular zombie. Man, that's depressing. And how about you guys? Oh, nice. Two shots on that. I, I can live with that. Okay. Just clear this top part. Because it looks like this is a much bigger little villager fortress thing of doom. Not sure why it's of doom, but it is. Cool. But, um, yeah, so I've been playing Ragecraft, and actually earlier today I ran a, you know, just a myself playing through the uh, the mini map I've been working on you know play I went through and I was like okay I've done intersection one I haven't gone through to check if intersection two I'm just gonna leave the I'm never using these yeah so I was like okay I'll check make sure intersection two is pretty balanced uh, it was good it was definitely good one of the zones was a bit too easy had to add some stuff there um the solution was, of course, just... The solution there was just a few more spawners. Um, but I didn't want to make it too hard, because the whole point of that one specific area is kind of... If the players was paying attention and thinks back a little bit, they can figure out a way to make that area really trivial. But, no, it was fun. It was, it was fun. I think I, di I died twice, and I got halfway through Intersection 3, actually. No, we're going to use that either, or that. Uh, you're, if you're giving me stuff with restoration, I'm going to keep it, because that, Im to me, giving stuff with restoration says there's, you're going to have to look underwater for something, so. Ooh, health potion. That's not bad. I'll, I'll grab that. Honestly, this house, this complex seems a little less dangerous. But that might just be because I know what to expect now. There we go. Thank you, Skeleton. Thank you, Village Farmer, for knocking me three towards that Skeleton. Ah, I hate thorns. So annoying. I mean, it's just like, boom, half, half you know. For... I, I guess the nice thing with this sword, though, is that I take, like, half a heart of damage in killing them. And, uh, yeah, let's block you off. Whoa, hello. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Launched him all the way over to the water. There's definitely a spawner up here somewhere. Oh, they're just coming from down there, I think. Okay. Pants. Eh. Yeah. But. Yeah, I know. I Just with my map, I know. I, I like playtesting as I go. You know, just to make sure I can do it. And it's like, I think I died. I got halfway through intersection three. Which was. What is it? I got four of the five dungeons at intersection three. I don't want to say done, because, I mean, that's the whole reason you play test, right? Just to change it, you know, make sure that they work and stuff. But one was one was good, needed one, I think I put, like, one extra spawner in. You know, just needed a tiny bit more oomph. Uh, one, and then I didn't get to all of them, unfortunately, but one was just way too hard. There were just a ridiculous amount of mobs. So... Where? What was hitting me from? Oh, gosh. Stupid 
thorns, isn't it? Oh no, it's just a, it's a skeleton, not thorns at all. Derp. Totally knew that. Was not at all being the super dumb there. Oh man. Oh, especially with the thorns, that is just wrecking this armor, actually. It's, it's kind of depressing. Because I, I spent a lot of levels on this armor. Okay. Now... Oh, man. Four hits to take out that guy, even with the smite five diamond sword. Boy. Well, I'm gonna grab all this XP at least. That's that's the important thing here. Cause I'm gonna need it to fix my armor after all of the stupid thorns. Big. It's a big. Okay. Now I think I. S Me. Yeah, creepers aren't. Uh, not too worried about creepers. Anyway, I'm gonna start heading up this tree, because I think... Yep, there's those tree men. Whoa! And a horde of mobs. Oh my god. Okay, I can't... What you, oak demon. Are there other types of demons? Do we get spruce demons as well? Alright. Hmm. Man, I'm running out of torches, too. I, I might have to go back on that uh, on that whole never have to make more torches statement. This place is pretty huge. I mean, I've been here, what, a little over ten minutes probably? And burned through a, two and a half stacks of torches already. Switch back to a puff here, just because there is a big variety of mobs coming at me. Especially the creepers there. And, yeah. Yep, let's just do a nice little head up to the tree. And one thing that I really want to, I think kind of my main goal today, before I finish up, is try to figure out, you know, see if the, the oak demon spawners, see if they're, the spawners are hidden in plain sight somewhere, or if they are, you know, kind of... It, or if they are concealed, is there kind of a consistency to their cons... Whoa! Hello. You know, basically, are they... If they're hidden, are they always hidden in the... <sighs> Stupid skeletons. Yeah. Anyway, finishing. <laughs> are they always hidden in the same place? And we got one in the middle of nowhere. They're in the... Direct in the middle of the tree trunk. Ooh, sp yep, spruce demon! Yay! And oak demon. Ooh, are they coming from the same spawner? <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad for the block mechanic. It's like, that was the kind of thing that I just never used until I started playing these maps, you know? And then suddenly you realize that since every map maker ever goes, you know... It's like, I swear, if you're making a CTM map, you know, it's like a... You're legally obligated to put at least, like, one creeper spawner in every area. Okay, but it looks like they're just out in the open, which is... I'm okay with. Maybe there'll be more types of wood later on. We'll get dark oak demons, which actually sounds... Actually, that sounds pretty cool. That's, like, a very just natural progression. All right, and we are... Not even close to finishing this area. Wow, this place is gigantic. Oh, oh, tree. Just straight up tree demon. Who apparently has fire resistance and a crap load of health. Anyway. Well, like I said, I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory, so I think I'm going to head back to base, drop it off, and... Next episode, let's try to make it up this tree. This has been Kaladun playing Depths of Urkala and looking around to make sure nothing like that sneaks up on me. Sploosh. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.